Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Fine. Great. Enjoy your coffee, teacher. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's because I need something warm. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Henry. Hello, Carlos. Hi, Karen. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. We are still on the same. Uh, page, right? On the same page. We want to continue with instructions and directions. Did you memorize the emergency, the emergency um, safety rules? Could be, right? When a fire happens, did you memorize them? At least you at least you have them in mind, right? You know them. Por lo menos las conocemos así, ¿verdad? Las tenemos idea de cómo son, ¿sí? Las um Okay, Juan. Uh, las reglas, ¿verdad? Que, que, o los lineamientos a seguir cuando hay un incendio o alguna otra emergencia, ¿verdad? Sometimes also we need to know um, how to avoid incidents at work. Also, how to avoid accidents at work. And we need some safety rules, right? So we need to know what's allowed and what's not, all right? This is very formal language using not allowed, right? Or allowed. It's very formal. Usually we use imperatives. Hello, Hazel. Usually we use imperatives. Do you remember what imperatives are? Prohibitions. Prohibitions, yeah, prohibitions. Mm -hmm. Instructions, maybe, teacher. Instructions, yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I'll be listening there. I'm, I'm on my way. All right, Ellen Nilsson. Okay, okay, teacher, thank you. Noted. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Yes, those are imperatives, commands, instructions, right? Also, we use them for directions when we want to show someone how to do something, all right? How to do or do imperatives, right? Okay, we are using this uh, other way to say prohibitions in a very formal language, okay? And this is really proper language, okay? This is really proper language. Okay, then let's start by introducing the class. Ah, I need to call the roll, guys. I need to call the roll. How many of us are here? Okay. You guys ready? Please turn your cameras on. And when I call your name, you say present.
Okay, ready. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Present teacher. Okay, Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Ah, she said something about an emergency too. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Elenilson Aparicio del CID. Present teacher. No, Uh, Elenil Son, Aparicio del CID. Elena Fernández Campos. Oh, hello, Alejandra. Okay. Present teacher. All right. All right, Eric. Eric Jose Hernández, right. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present teacher. Okay. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Okay, Javier Antonio Cortez Martinez. Uh, he's not and he's still on the list. All right. Juan Francisco Salmeron Alas. Present teacher. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Not yet. Um, Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Is it raining? Ricardo? Yeah, I am staying in Guatemala. I'm so sorry. I, I tell you, I have a problem with the connected because I uh, destroy. Eh, el traslado, no sé cómo en inglés. All right, the moving. Mm -hmm. so, all right. So much. How, how I can change are you, are for you the oyente. Uh, well, yeah, administration this can is my moving. Oh, so you're moving out of the country. Yeah. Now I get No, it. no, no, no. Oh. I go back. Uh, uh, okay. Tomorrow, Salvador, but uh, I am staying in the trust translate and the moving this, in the moving. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, moving, moving, moving. All right. And I don't know how uh, how to say my name, uh, oyente. Uh, okay, no worries. Now we know that you are just listening to us. All right. Now we know that you are just listening. Right. But at the beginning, uh, when you join the video conference, there is a space where you write, uh, right beside your name, you, you write oyente, okay? Okay, I, I try to teach All right, all right. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria all Tobar. Right. Thank you. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. All right. No está Rosa. Ni Santos. José Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Pedro, you there? Okay, class. We are going to introduce the class. We Teacher, are present. 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 Hernan. Present. Okay, Hernan. Thank you. There you are. Checked. Now we are with this thing. Remember, Unit Two is about instructions and directions, right? And there are a slight difference right there is a slight difference hay una 
pequeña diferencia podríamos decir entre los dos términos, between the two terms. So um, we are going to talk tonight about um, instructions, all right? Instructions. Oh my God, it moved. Okay, so directions and instructions. You need two. What's going on here? Ah, okay. I like it. Welcome to your video conference number nine. And uh, we are going to continue with unit two. So the topic for tonight is giving instructions. Giving instructions giving instructions that's the topic and it's going to be a kind of practice all right a kind of practice it means that you are going to say and you are going to i'm sorry you're going to write and say the objective for this class is that you will be able to use it's not allowed it's not allowed this is the phrase we are going to study to talk about prohibitions, all right? Prohibitions that so we could say about rules, yeah, rules at workplace. So there are things that we are allowed to do and things that we aren't allowed to do, okay? We are going to see how to use them in rules. I mean, how to use these phrase in rules. All right. So our video conference agenda is our feedback, right? Then we saw the topic, we saw the objective presentation already, and it's not allowed will be our short briefing for tonight. And then we have a conversation to practice on page 25 in our manuals and some written exercises and on page 26. The breakout rooms will be on the platform, all right? And we want to try to continue with some directions. We are going to try if we get there, all right? Uh, if it is not possible, we will continue with uh, the breakout room activity. We are going to try. Okay, this is just as a manner of feedback. This is just as a manner of feedback, okay? What's there in your city? What's there in your city? Aha, uh -huh. let's read these uh, questions and answers, all right? Carlos Ernesto, can you read the first box, please? Yes, teacher. Is there a gas station? Yes, there is one on Second Avenue. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much. Magdiel, can you read the second box, please? Is there a drugstore? No, I'm afraid there isn't. Okay. Afraid. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm afraid there isn't. All right. And the third one, Wilbert, can you read it, please? Yes, teacher. Is there a park nearby? Nearby. 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 Mm -hmm. Is there a park nearby? Yes, there is one. Perdón. Perdón. No worries. Uh, there is one at the end of military street. All military right. street. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is another way to uh, say where are things located or the places in our city, right? If I ask about places in another place, for example, let's um, go to Multiplaza, all right? Let's go to Multiplaza, let's move over there and think about 
Is there any bathroom on the third floor? Is there any bathroom on the third floor? Estamos en multiplaza, okay? So is there any bathroom on the third floor? It should be. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> yes, well, it's this gourmet place, right? So you, you can go and have some food, the restaurant thing. So, of course, of course, on the third floor, there are bathrooms. Where are they, they located? Where are they located? That's the point, all right? That's the point. Mm -hmm. Can someone tell me where are the bathrooms or restrooms and multiplaza on the third floor? Uh -huh. I don't know exactly. Uh, I, can you give us an idea? Hmm, maybe there are, there are many, many bathrooms. All right, uh huh. But we are talking about the third floor. Mm. Estamos hablando del tercer piso. <clears throat> ah, third floor. Yes, third floor. Mm -hmm. mm. Maybe there isn't. Uh, there aren't because we there, are asking in aren't. plural, right? Uh huh. Yes, yes, excuse me. Okay, yes, there are bathrooms on the third floor, guys. So the bathroom is uh, next to, I think it is La Neveria, one side, and Pizza Hut is, the, is in the other side, right? Right in the corner between these two restaurants, all right, on the third floor, yeah? Okay. This is the way to express where things are. Okay. Um, bye, para que nos pongamos en sintonía. Para que nos pongamos en sintonía. ¿Se pueden multiplaza o nos cambiamos de centro comercial? Ajá. No se puede en la multi. I didn't oh, know. I am uh, in the park. I don't know the most teacher. Okay. I'm poor. Oh, that is I why usually, you didn't know where the bathrooms were. All right. I now I didn't get it. go the malls. Okay, but what mall do you visit more? No, no, no mall? Um, okay, Metro the, Centro. The oh, all right. Now, Metro Centro. Let's go to Metro Centro, everybody. Let's uh, go on the 101D, all right? Or on the 44. <laughs> all right. So let's give this right and think about, is there a Tigo office in Metro Centro? Ha-ha, got you guys. And you don't want to say yes because I'm going to ask you where is it, right? Ha ha. Ya les di las caras. No me quieren decir que sí porque les voy a decir, hey, ¿y dónde está? Teacher. <laughs> Tell me. Henry should be no. Should know. Yeah. <laughs> Henry. Really? I losing <laughs> in the park of mold. Oh my God. All right. But now think. Think in Santa Ana Metro Centro, Metro Centro Santa Ana. I only know uh, it, the, the front from the front of mall uh, because uh, they are a kiosk. Uh, claro. A kiosk. 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 Mm -hmm. and, and I visit uh, visit and supervising uh, the kiosk. Uh, all right. So only 
Only I don't know enter to the mall. <laughs> All right, but that's in the parking, right? That's in the parking. Is that in the parking? Or yes. out of, out of it? The QSP is indoor. It's right. in front. It's, it's in the, in the principal, uh, ¿cómo se entrada principal? Main, main entrance. Main, main entrance. entrance. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. The oh. kiosk is located the main entrance. Yes, Henry, and, you did and now, it. Uh -huh. And only, and only, this is my only visit to the mall. All right, all right. So you don't know what else is there in the Metro Centro Santa Ana. Yes, sorry. All right, <laughs> all love, right. I, I love seeing. <laughs> all right, so now let's talk about your workplaces then. All right, let's talk about your workplaces. Okay. Is there a cafeteria in your workplace? No. No? Yes. No, there, no, no, there is. Yes, there are. There are. Okay, is there, there, there I are. say, is there a, okay? There. Ajá. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. La pregunta fue así. Is there a cafeteria, right? Podríamos decir cafe area, right? Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm -hmm. In your workplace. Ya pasamos de decir yes, there is a aumentarle en donde está, ¿verdad? Así como estas que tenemos acá. Yeah? Yes, there is. But now you say the location. Where is it located? Uh huh, Rafael, you said that you had one, all right? So tell us, where is it located? Oh, it's located um, near from the, the main, how do you say, entrada? <laughs> entrance, it's near entrance. the main entrance, entrance. of uh, a repuesto, sales. sales. Of uh, uh, parts. Parts. Mm -hmm. All right. Or sales, right? Sales, parts selling. All right. There you are. Mm -hmm. Or is that, well, no, that's a store, right? That's a store, the part selling. All right. There you are. Okay, guys. So he did a good job. Clap for Rafael too. All right. So Henry did it. Rafael did it. All right, there you are. A ver, esto lo tienen que seguir practicando, chicos. Si no, ya en el próximo módulo, otra vez vamos a estar así como, ah, oh, porque somos salvadoreños. That is why. Okay? So don't worry, don't worry. You have to practice and you are going to do it along the way. So no problem. Let's continue with, let's continue with the class. Okay, then. We were talking about it's not allowed, right? It's not allowed. Bien, hay dos palabras que se podrían confundir, ¿verdad? Allowed and allowed. Allowed, como decir las cosas en voz alta, okay? Es una escritura muy diferente, es A-L-O-U-D. Ahora, allowed es un verbo, it's a verb, right? This verb is allow, allow is the verb. Okay, in present or the first form of this verb, I will write it on the chat. Okay, allow. Muchos lo leen como allow. Mm, it is not, it's allow. Okay, allow. That's the verb. That's the first form of the verb. Allowed is the past participle form, all right? That is why we use, uh, also is the past simple form, right? Ah, uh, loud, okay? That's the past participle and also the simple past form of this verb. So it, mean it, it means that this is a regular verb, right? So allowed, everybody allowed, allowed. Open your mouth, repeat after me. Allowed. Allowed. Not allowed. Allowed. 
All right. Allowed. Allowed. Mm -hmm. And the ed ending is d, d, right? D with the letter D, obviously, right? Okay, so. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, the, the difference in between allow and allow is only the vowel A. Uh, I don't, I, I don't not exactly. Not allow. exactly. No, no, no. Not exactly. Not exactly. Uh, Okay, there was another word that is written like this. Look at the chat. It says A-L-O-U-D. That's a different word. That's a different meaning, all right? Doesn't have to see anything with the thing we are studying, okay? Allowed is to say something uh, that someone can hear, all right? Not saying this in a side way or, right? It's the opposite, allowed, right? But that's not the word we are saying. Esa no es la palabra que estamos usando. Hello. <laughs> All right. So. All right. I got it. Got it. All right. Nice. Okay, then. This is passive voice. Okay. It's a passive voice expression. And we are going to say it's not allowed when we want to express a prohibition or something that is not permitted in any place we want to say that. It's a rule, okay? It's a rule, yeah? It's a rule. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. All right. Entonces, veamos algo bien interesante. Que esta frase no necesariamente es con it, porque el verbo to be se conjuga, ¿verdad? De acuerdo a lo que precede, que sería en este caso el sujeto, ¿verdad? El it puede ser plural también, ¿verdad? Y si es plural, ¿cuál sería? En vez de it, para objects en plural, ¿cuál usamos? Remember, lo voy a poner en el chat primero. Ya nos vamos a ir al slide. Uh -huh. they. they, correct. They are not allowed, right? They are not allowed. Y luego de esa frase ponemos un infinitivo, okay? To do, to get, to bring, to drink, to make, all right? We are going to use infinitives after that. So it's not allowed to uh, eat in class. For example, all right, this is just an example, right? It's not allowed to eat in class. Mm, interesting. We have an infinitive to eat, right? We need the particle to, we need that word. We're not going to say it's not allowed to eat. Mm -mm. Podría cambiar, podría cambiar esto de otra manera y ya lo vamos a ver. Ok, bien, let's go. Y eso podría funcionar agregando el ING sin el TO. It's allowed. Yes. Allowed to eat. Ajá, but that will be not a prohibition. Ok, that will be not a prohibition. Yeah. Uh, one second. Mm. Let me visualize what you're saying, all right? Let me visualize what you're saying. You are saying that it's not allowed eating, yeah? It's not allowed eating in class, eating in class. Mm, yes, you can use that, even though uh, the best structure or grammar structure, if it is with an infinitive. The way it can change is que eating se convierta en el sujeto, okay? Eating is not allowed. Okay? Así sí. Eating is not allowed. Ahí sí. Okay? Now, let's continue with the slides. We're going to visualize just the same thing. All right. We are going to figure this and picture it. 
Give me one second. And when the antivirus start loading, oh my God. You know, antivirus virus are not allowed in this computer, <laughs> all right, in class. But yeah, it is right there. One second, please. All right, let's see, maybe. Here we go. Okay, this is the way that I was talking about, okay? It's not allowed. The opposite, when something is allowed, then we say it's allowed, all right? Prohibition and permission, right? This is not permitted and this is permitted. Next, you are not allowed, okay? An affirmative will be permitted, right? You are allowed. They are not allowed. They are allowed, right? They are not allowed. They are allowed, all right? Got it. Got it, guys? Is there any questions so far? Yes, got it. All right, thank you. Como traduciríamos, teacher, cuando decimos, you're not allowed. No está autorizado, quizás sería más apropiado. You, you're not authorized, okay? Um, uh -huh. O oh, no está permitido, yeah? Uh -huh. Autorizado, más bien. Uh -huh. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this first before going to the conversation on page 25. All right, we're gonna do this. Uh -huh. A ver, aquí hay que tener cuidado con si es plural o si es singular. Por eso habíamos visto lo de los plurales, ¿verdad? Y del singular. Es muy importante que manejemos el singular y el plural en English too. So, pets. Ajá. Pets. ¿Usamos is o usamos are? Are. All right. Why? Because it's plural, right? Are what? Estas son uh, todas uh, prohibiciones. Estas son todas prohibiciones, okay? Uh, not allowed. allowed. Okay. There you are. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y se puede contractar igual, okay? Se puede contractar aren't perfectamente, okay? Vamos. Donations and gifts. Are not allowed. All right, because it's plural, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, le vamos a poner aren't para que vean que sí. We contract that. All right. What about the next one? It's not allowed. It's not allowed or you are not, you allowed. Are not allowed? Are not allowed. Are not allowed. All not right. Allowed. Okay. And this is by law, guys. This is by law. Okay. There you are. All right, next one. Mm -hmm. To stay overnight means that you stay and sleep over there. You pass all the night in that place. It's not allowed. Aha, uh -huh, because there is no, there is no other thing here saying as, oh, uh, in the function of a subject, right? So we use eat, all right? We use eat, correct, well, okay? It's not allowed to stay overnight. Very good. What about the next one?
are not alone. Taking pictures. A ver, aquí cuál sería el sujeto? El sujeto sería taking or pictures? Pictures. Pictures. No, guys. Aquí no. sería taking, tomar fotos. Ok, tomar. Ese sería el subject. Ok, the complete action. Taking pictures. Uh -huh. Y como taking es ar, er, ir, ¿verdad? Tomar. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces vamos a usar es todo esto, taking pictures, como eat. Ok. Taking pictures es eat. It's not allowed. So. Correct. It's not allowed. Correct. Taking pictures, eat. Right. It's not allowed. Correct. And the last one. What is uh, surgery? Surgery is uh, when a doctor Cirugía. goes into, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, Karen, in Spanish. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No problem, no problem. Thank yeah. you, Karen. <laughs> You, you are, are allowed. You are allowed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are not allowed to translate. All right. <laughs> okay. I forgot. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. It's okay. Thank you very much for collaborating. All right. So let's look at the last sentence. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. Yes, is because laser surgery will be eat. All right, so is not allowed, okay? It's not allowed. So let's read each sentence, all right? Let's read each sentence. So you may start reading the first one. Uh, Eric Jose, please. The first one. Uh, pets are not allowed. All right, thank you very much. Hernan, next one. Number two. Yes, please. Um, donation and girls aren't, aren't allowed. Correct, thank you. Carlos Ernesto, please. The third one? In El Salvador, you are not allowed to drive after drinking. Correct. Thank you very much. Jose Abel, next one. Taking pictures is not allowed. Thank you very much. Uh, Karen, please, for security. For security reasons, it's not allowed to stay overnight. Thank you very much. All right, is Claudia over there? Please read the last one. Uh, taking pictures is not hardware. Allowed. Dígalo conmigo, Claudia. Allowed. Allowed. Allowed, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Andrea, can you read the last one, please? Uh, laser surgery is not allowed for kids because they're growing. All right. Afinemos esta pronunciación, Andrea. Allowed. 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 All right. Allowed. Yes. Y la primera es laser. Laser surgery. Laser surgery is not allowed for kids because they're growing. Thank you very much. Yes, and that's correct. So now we know how to use the, these expression and how uh, are the variations, right? Uh, from it to are, right? And from aren't to are not, all right? Or the things that are allowed, right? So yes, let's go in, into our manuals, all right? Let's move over there. And there we have a conversation, all right? Hmm. Again, the same thing. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. This is page 25. <clears throat> Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone and work hours. <laughs> Got you, Sandra. All right, there you are. So let's look at these things. Mm -hmm. What is she doing? What is she doing? Sandra, what is Sandra doing? <clears throat> She, she made a report calling. All right. She's making a call, right? She's making a call, right? All right. Good, good. So now let's, uh, let's try to read for 30 seconds. Move your lips and then you ask any question if you got any, all right? All right, is there any question about the vocabulary? Sí, la palabra, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Proced procedures, procedures. Procedures. Mm -hmm. Gracias. All right. ¿Cómo así? Como así, on the chat. Like that. Procedures. Proceder, ¿verdad? O procedimiento. Teacher. Tell me. What's meaning the sentences? Is it because of what 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 happened? Como... Ah, okay. Here she's asking uh, that the thing that happened before is the reason why this person has been fired. All right. So, uh, esta es la manera de hacer la pregunta. Is it because of what happened? Is it because of what happened? Significa, y es por eso, eh, perdón, es por lo que sucedió, ¿ok? Y es por lo que sucedió, ¿ok? Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Teacher. 
Tell Aquí me. Dice, I understand he can devalue it. Así es. He, I, I understand he can devalue it. No, he knew. Sabía. Esa, sí. Sabía, conocía. He knew. Ah, new. Okay. Thank yes. you, teacher. All right. Any other question? <clears throat> okay, then. Uh, we're going to ask Andrea and Magdiel. Please role play the conversation. Okay. okay. Uh, good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures, procedures, procedures. procedures. with the new MPD. <clears throat> well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the val values uh, of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Very good. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Teacher, uh, ¿puede repetir la pronunciación de procedures? Procedures. Procedures. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Good. Okay, then we are going to the breakout rooms. And we are going to discuss these following questions. What are some rules in Sandra's company? What is the problem with the new employee? Are these rules similar to your companies? How? Is there any question? of what we're going to do? No questions? So practice the conversation and discuss the uh, questions, OK? Ah, uh, we have Tony as a listener and Juan, right? Okay. All right, Jose Abel, thank you. Okay, los voy a crear y los voy a abrir y luego los voy a ir cambiando, okay? Para los que quedaron con, con oyente, okay?
eh, ahorita voy con el libro. Okay. Estamos. Ok. Perfecto. I understand, I understand he now the value of our company. So there is no excuse, excuse me. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hour. You're right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want... Teacher. Hello, Karen. Are you alone here? With Hazel, but she's oyente. Oh, I'm so sorry because I didn't see any sign over there. All right. Uh, do you want me to move you to another group? All right. All right. I'll do it. Okay, who we'll start? You and me. Uh, you. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what's happened? Yes, he, he, he was couch smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand he knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also it's not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in working hours. Work hours. <laughs> work hours. Work okay. hours. Okay. Switch. Okay. 
Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the pro procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of the company, so there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Ahí hmm. vamos. Ahí vamos. Como dices, procedures. Procedures. Procedures, okay. How do you pronounce it? Mm, es que tengo mi duda. Procedures. If you want, I will find it. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, that word is procedures. Like, like if you are it's saying uh, your procedures. Yeah. Procedures. 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 Uh -huh. procedures. procedures. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Employee? Employee. Employee or employee? The thing is that you have to be uh, subtle, all right? Subtle with this pronunciation. Uh, sometimes it sounds like employee as uh, emphasi emphasizing, right? Or employee. If you are speaking fast, employee. you say employee, right? Employee. employee. Yeah, so uh, it's not uh, that it is indifferent, but yeah, it's employee, right? Employee. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. There you are. Okay. Let's start again. Uh, good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the proce procedures. Procedures. The procedures with the new employee? Well, he cannot continue with us. I see, is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You're right, it's not also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, to so use the cell phone <laughs> in work hours? Yeah. <laughs> I sleep in, in the middle of the day. <laughs> Me too, don't worry. In my free time, I uh, I use my, how do you say? Like a bodega. <laughs> ah. Storage room. A storage room, but in my case, is a, a little space, like a high well with a door, but it's a little, little short. <laughs> <laughs> so it's close to me, but I use my shirt and I slip. I put my head off the, off the wall and I sleep fine. 20 minutes <laughs> when I have that. Uh, at one time, I sleep two hours. <gasps> once, once. <laughs> one time is one. One time. Okay. Because, <laughs> because after that, I scared, or oh, uh, I scared to sleep in a uh, work uh, middle of the day. <laughs> uh -huh. Sí, o sea, Yo dije, 15 minutos. But maybe you were kind of sick? Were you in a process? Uh, I was something? sick. I, I, I have a, I have a flu. Uh, so you had a fever and maybe you took some pills? Uh, yes. So uh, that's why I maybe. don't remember what, what I take in, in, in this, esa vez. Viral grip. Pero, pero era, <laughs> no, era más fuerte. PM. <laughs> Era más fuerte, tenía una infección. Oh, all right. Entonces, sí me mediqué. Mm. Y dije, 15 minutos, y 15 minutos hicieron dos horas. That's oh, my. Minutes. Oh, my God. Uh, did your boss tell you anything? No. Uh, no, uh, my boss 
is a good boss. Was he sleeping too? <laughs> Pero no me vio. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my, office, my office is in the second floor. All right. Mm -hmm. And the, the office of, of my boss mm -hmm. uh, is in the first floor. Oh, so you're lucky. Near to the exit. All right. You're lucky. Uh, mm. Yes. <laughs> okay, then continue because you have to discuss. You okay. have to discuss the questions you have in the prayer work. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What are some rules in the Sandra's company? Ah, it's not allowed to sleep in work hours. You write this? It's over here. Yes, she did. She was answering by herself the question. So that's why I sent her over here to work with you. All right. It's not allowed to sleep in work hours and it's not allowed. Más formal, digo yo. Teacher, we have a question. Um, uh -huh. It's okay. It's not allowed to smoke in the company. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second, it is not allowed to, to sleep. Correct. During working hours, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, during... Mm -hmm. Okay, not is necessary using the, the preposition okay, you, he. Mm, not exactly because it's everybody. So if you say uh, an, a, a noun or a pronoun as a subject, then you use, for example, employees are not allowed, right? or the staff is not allowed. So if, oh. you, if you use a different thing. So in this case, no, you don't need a noun because you have, it is not. That's the way to build these uh, prohibitions, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it is correct. It is correct, Claudia. So you have to say, it is not allowed to sleep in working hours or in work hours, right? Mm -hmm. It is called in cell phone. Uh -huh. Correct. Well, okay. The cell phone, uh, how do you use the cell phone? And work hours too. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In work hours. Uh -huh, okay. so, uh, okay. Entonces, solo con eso sería la uno. Yes. Number two. And number two is what is the problem? In this case, we always use it is and it is, but we always take it with the hallway bar. Yes, what the teacher said is that we are not referring to it in a general way. To the rules, to the norms. Si lo hacemos mm -hmm. poniendo los pronombres personales, es como que ya nos estamos refiriendo directamente a una persona. A una también, persona, cabal. O también podríamos usarlo en lugar de it, poner employees. Ajá, ah, employees. O sea, los empleados no tienen permitido. Ajá. Algo así. Ah, ah ya. Yeah. <laughs> But, but in number two, you have to define what was the problem with the new employee, right? Because she was asking what happened, 
right? What is the reason or what's going to be the procedure with the new employee? So you are going to describe what happened. And then they say, he was caught smoking inside the company. All right, that's the problem. All right? Yes. Mm -hmm. In the second sentence, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. question. Yes. Okay. Before moving forward, guys, we are going to take the attendance. All right. So please get ready. Turn your cameras on. And when I call your name, you say present. So let's start. Let's get started with this. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Yeah. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present teacher. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Maguiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Pedro. All right. So let's continue with this. And we want to listen to uh, Henry and Ellen Nilsson, please. You are going to role play the conversation. All right. Here it is. Teacher, I am present. Ricardo? 
Is that Ricardo? All right. Thank you. Thank you for sí, letting me no know. Si me pasó, me pasó asistencia. A José Abel, claro que sí. sí. Okay. Yes, I did. All right. Okay, guys, we are going to role play the conversation and let's pay attention to the pronunciation. And if you need to correct any pronunciation, this is the time, all right? This is the moment. So please, Ellen Nilsson and Henry. I start. Okay. Good sure. morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employees. Okay, this is procedures. Well, procedures. procedures. Mm -hmm. Quitemos que esta D ya no va a ser D. Okay, si no que hagamos la una Y. Procedure. Jurors. Procedure. Mm -hmm. Procedures. All right, continue, please. Okay, well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of the what happening? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He can knew the values of our companies. So there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in the work hours. You're right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Thank you very much. This word is cut, cut. Look, cut. this okay. is cut like that. Cut smoking, cut smoking. Mm -hmm. Cut, okay. Cut. This is new, new. New. New como nuevo, the same, right? We don't pronounce letter K, it's silent. So we say new, the values, new. New. Mm -hmm. A ver, repita la oración, eh, Henry. He y... knew the values of our company. Excellent, excellent. And this is excuse. 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 Mm -hmm. Excuse. All right. And the other, bueno, y la principal que estamos aprendiendo es allowed. 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 Mm -hmm. Aquí no decimos allowed, no decimos allowed, decimos allowed. All right. We say allowed. Allowed. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Now, we are going to discuss this uh, following questions, but you are going to give us the, your own uh, conclusion, all right? I will look at the next group will be, let's look at what Carlos and Rafael Antonio think about this question, okay? Carlos Roberto and Rafael Antonio. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are some roles is in the company? Yo respondo, ¿verdad? Pero sí, sí. Yes, please. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, some rules in Sandra's company are. Um, uh, is not allowed to sleep in work hours. Uh, it's not allowed to use the cell phone in, in work hours. And is is not allowed smoking inside in the company. Okay, to smoke, to smoke. All right. Mm -hmm. What is the problem with the new employer? Employee. Mm -hmm. Employee. That's right, employee. Uh-huh. This is the problem with that employee. Okay, Carlos Roberto. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Are we okay? 
so far. Carlos Roberto se me quedó por ahí o se me desconectó. Eh, estaba hablando was... solo profe Pérez. <laughs> Yo okay. juro que estaba respondiendo todo, pero ¿dónde me quedé? Ajá, ajá. Lo siento. Ahí fue en, en la segunda, ¿verdad? No me fijé en qué momento le dije que lo siento. Yes, eh, he, he was caught smoking inside in the company. And uh, he, um, he was sleeping in work hours. All right. So, and it is not allowed, right? To both things all right and what about number three what about number three are are these rules similar to your company now uh -huh. yeah in my case uh, yes because uh, i am in the school so i i, I can't uh, smoking in the in the school I can it's not I allowed. Am not, I am not allowed or it's not allowed. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It's not allowed uh, smoking in okay. the wait, school. wait, 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 wait. It's not allowed to smoke. All right. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not allowed to smoke inside in the school. All right. And two uh, is not allowed to sleep in work hours, but uh, is allowed to uh, use the cell phone in work hours because we we can uh, search uh, some subject or some uh, uh, contenido. All right, a content. Lie. Content. <laughs> is that a lie, <laughs> Karen? <laughs> sometimes they sometimes uh -huh. didn't didn't allow us <laughs> use uh. the cell phone. <laughs> Uh, okay, but maybe for personal calls, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe maybe yeah. for personal calls or you are texting uh, maybe in an unapparting time, right? So yeah. maybe that's what is not allowed. But what about the things that are allowed? Maybe Google things, right? Yeah, or using yeah. this as a, as an information source, right? It could be, it could be. all right. Yes. Good. Very good. Okay. Ahora les voy a hacer pregunta así uh, a algunos de ustedes. Okay. Number one. What are some roles in Sandra's company? Eh, Wilber? Sorry, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what was the question? What are some roles in Sandra's company? And Sandra's company uh, is, a, is not allowed uh, to smoke, mm -hmm. to sleep, and use the cell phone in work hours. And to use. All right. Very yes. good. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Now I am going to ask um, Blanca Alejandra, are these rules similar to your companies? Okay. Sorry, teacher, could you repeat, please? Number three, are these rules similar to your companies? And how? You are muted, Blanca. All right. Pass. Pasamos, Blanca. I think she ha she's having some trouble, right? Okay, I will ask another classmate. Meanwhile, she gets ready. And let's look at Eric Jose. Are these rules similar to your companies? How? Ah, uh, it says it's a listen at Eric Jose too. Yes, teacher, I'm listening. Oh, I'm sorry. Hernan, Hernan, are these rules similar to your companies? Yes, 
these are similar rules in my company. All right. And how? How do how are they similar? Um the smoking. All right. Uh, use the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Um uh, sleep at work. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Yes. So, hello. All right. So now let's continue here because we have the next on the next page, we have some written exercises. All right. And we use it's not allowed in this way. And it says use it's not allowed to talk about prohibitions that we have in a particular place. Uh, it doesn't matter the place, what the place is, it doesn't matter. What is important is to know how to express prohibitions or how prohibitions are expressed or they are telling us what is not permitted. All right. So, Wilbert, can you read the examples in this row, please? Yes, teacher. Uh, three sentences. Or in this oh. column, I'm sorry, in this column. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. It is not allowed to smoke inside the facilities. Yeah. It is not allowed to take tools home. It is not allowed to drink alcoholic beverage. Beverages, beverages. Uh, esta teacher, ¿cuál que dice? Inside facilities. Inside the facilities is in the building, right? Indoors. Uh, mm -hmm. In the building, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Facilities is the place where you work, the building. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's, please, Carlos Ernesto, can you read the next column? Yes, teacher. It is not allowed to use cell phones. It is not allowed to sleep in working hours. It is not allowed to run in any area of the company. Very good. Thank you very much. So let's look at the grammar here because we say it is not. We can contract and say it's not. All right. Allowed is the same, is the same in the past participle tense. And then we use to as an infinitive, right? To smoke, to smoke, to take, to drink, to use, to sleep and to run. All right. Now we have to write a six line paragraph about the rules and prohibitions at your workplace. And we are going to use it's not allowed. To do that, we are going to the platform, all right? Let's go to the platform and you are going to write in the discussion label, I posted an activity. So you can write over there like this. Okay. Uh, right below the video conference number nine, you were going to scroll down. Okay, go to the bottom of the page. And there you are going to find this activity posted, All right? And it says rules and prohibitions, rules and prohibitions. So we are going to click on it and let's read the instruction. Discuss with your partner, then write a five line paragraph giving an answer to each of the following sentences. I'm sorry, questions. This is questions, not sentences. Uh, and number one, what are some rules in your company? You give some examples, all right? Number two, do you think it is important to follow rules? And you say, if it is, 
yeah, then you say why also, right? And if it isn't important, then you say why, okay? So it's 9.30, we are going back to the breakup rooms and you are going to work discussing with your partner what are the rules that you have in your company. Using it is not allowed. So make a list, make a list first and then you write your conclusion in or your comment in the, um, in the discussion label, right? In the post as an answer. Compañeros, un compañero. Hola, hola. 
Hola, mucho gusto. Por aquí, Ay, recién llegando. Ya entra. <ríe> Vaya. Okay. Oh, I, I, I am driver. I'm so sorry. I, I can participate because I stayed driver. Don't worry, Don't worry about. Uh, uh, estábamos preparando algunas reglas de la compañía de la compañera Andrea, perdón. Entonces, okay, okay. Está bien. no, pero, eh, teacher, And, uh, tell me. I have a question. Eh, ¿Es crear reglas en general o por independiente? No, you were going to talk about the rules in your company. Ah, va. Ah, pues mm -hmm. comentar y nos vamos a, a enlistar. Right. Yes. Está bien. Mm -hmm. Ok, pues ya dijo la compañera, is not allowed, use, this, use the cell phone in, or in work hours. La otra sería... Beber, ¿verdad? Beber ahí. Entonces, esto es, es similar, pero llegar, ¿verdad? Con estos efectos. Hello. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. And the first one. You have to add, it is not allowed because this company is not exactly the subject of it is not allowed. All right, mm -hmm. good. That's correct. Okay. Teacher, una pregunta que ya tenía la duda porque en, en Previamente habíamos tratado de, de redactar esta, esta regla, la uh -huh. segunda, pero me traducía como, porque bebidas embriagantes le había puesto yo acá, uh -huh. Uh -huh. y me lo traducía como intoxicating, pero realmente quería poner alcohólica. But that's correct, alcoholic beverages, that's correct. Uh -huh. okay. Good. Good Uh -huh. How can I say with, uh, when, cuando una regla es, es, no es permitido no usar? Por ejemplo, no es permitido no usar casco de seguridad. Ah, all right. In that case, you have to say uh, in a different way you use the imperative. That's what you, you are forced to do. It. I mean... You say, wear a helmet, right? Wear a helmet. But if we want to say it, we could say it. It is not allowed uh, to, uh, sería, to not, to not use it, to not use, yeah? It's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Pero en realidad, lo más eh, usual es que usemos un imperativo en ese caso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Pero claro que sí lo puede decir de esa manera. It is not allowed to not to use, right? Podríamos to not to también, use. It is not allowed to be without, without helmet. Uh, yes, you can say that too. You can say it is not allowed. To be? Okay. No, 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 no. Tendría que ser uh, to stay or to, to work, o, o sea, un, un, un verbo que de la actividad que va a hacer ahí. Por ejemplo, to stay es como permanecer, right? O uh -huh. otra puede ser remain, remain es permanecer también. 
¿Ok? Uh -huh. Ajá. Ahorita le voy a buscar una forma de poner bien esto, ¿ok? Cuando usted quiere decir, eh, porque el doble negativo hace el positivo, ¿verdad? Entonces, en uh -huh. ese caso, <coughs> tendríamos que ubicar. Uh -huh. Ajá, tendría que ser así, not to, en vez de to not, sería not to. It is not allowed not to. It is not allowed not, not to. Uh -huh. to. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Esa sería la estructura. Not to use. Mm -hmm. ah, pero como usted, en este caso, helmet es una prenda de el uniforme, ¿verdad? O prenda de ponerse sobre el cuerpo sería uh, not to wear, wear, right? Wear a helmet. Not to wear a, a helmet. Ese mm -hmm. sería el verbo. Okay, there you are. Very good. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Hello. Hello. Remember, the correct uh, form of the verb allowed is with an ed at the end. Allowed. There you are. Okay. Okay. No sé, algo más. ¿Quién lo va a decir? Ese otra. Porque compañeros es compañero. Compañeros de trabajo. Co, co worker. Ha unido. Co workers. Co workers. Ajá. C O W O E O R K E A R S. Co workers. Eso sí, el abecedario me lo enseñaron porque era bien dundito. No, no diga eso. <risa> no, de verdad. Cuando yo trabajaba en la embajada americana por ocho años y, y yo andaba con, con los hijos de los americanos y entonces los niños, ahí veían palabras que yo no sabía y me decía, aprendete el abecedario, aprendete el abecedario, todos los días, por cinco años. ¡Uy! Y todavía no. <risa> ok. Tenemos bueno. local, local. No sería mejor... Uh... Uh, nicknames no is not allowed in the work. Cabal in the work. Don't fail. Not don't allowed. Fail. Remember plural and singular? Then you have to say nicknames. Nice. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, yes, nicknames are. Uh, right? Uh, nicknames. Yes. Correct. In the Correct. work. Correct. Mm -hmm. Entonces, sería, it is not nickname in the work. No, Claudia, it will be nicknames are not ah. allowed. Ah, revés. Ah, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And if we, uh, we can change that and say at work, all right? At work. work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Nickname, it is not allowed. No, aren't because it's plural, right? Mm -hmm. Nicknames. Uh -huh. And nicknames in this case is the subject of that prohibition. So nicknames are not allowed, right? La otra forma de decirlo, si lo decimos así como it is, entonces decía, diríamos, it is not allowed to call nicknames, right? To call nicknames. Mm -hmm. Poner apodos, right? To call nicknames. The another one is um, alcoholic drinks are not allowed. Okay. Hello. Sí, estoy, estoy escribiendo. Ah, oh, okay. Oh. In our works. Our works. Our work out. Yeah. Um, ours. Nice. Guys, remember that after it's not allowed, we use an infinitive, right? To make it. Mm -hmm. Read what's up Maggie. Mm -hmm. Use and to sleep. To sleep. Okay. Something else to add? Very nice that you wrote this word, must. Must is um, uh, it's related with obligations and mm -hmm. rules. So prohibitions are really related with must as the things that uh, are obligations, right? So very good that you related we must, we must, all right? Okay.
Very good. Here we've got some answers. Okay. And let's look at Jose Abel. Uh, he said it's not allowed to smoke. Remember? Oh, imagine. Uh, <laughs> I get, I mean, I, I was surprised about this word because I thought it said smoke coke, right? Smoke coke. Oh my God. I said <laughs> drugs, right? Drugs. <laughs> yeah, but I got, <laughs> I was surprised, but no, it doesn't say what I thought. All right. It says it's not allowed. It's not allowed to smoke inside the company. Very good. To sleep. Remember infinitive, right? To sleep in work hours. It's not allowed to use the cell phone. Yeah. Very good. Mm. Yes, to accept gifts from suppliers. Yeah. Uh huh. It can generate misunderstandings, right? Mm -hmm. It's not allowed personal calls during working hours. Very good. Carlos Ernesto said, mm -hmm, with Hazel and Carlos and Eric, what are some rules in your company? Uh huh. It's not allowed to sleep in work hours, not allowed to arrive with effects of alcoholic beverages. It's not allowed not to wear a helmet, all right? Uh, we were thinking about the double negative here is a positive one, right? So the result of saying this is an imperative, wear a helmet, all right? So it's better to use an imperative instead of saying it is not allowed not to wear a helmet. We say wear a helmet, but it's okay. You can say it this way too, right? Okay. And we think that it's important to safety of people. Uh, okay. We think that it's important for safe, for, for people's safety and your workplace. All right, very good. Henry Alberto says, and Jose Abel and Juan Francisco, okay. It's not allowed to smoke, all right. Very good, to sleep, uh -huh. to accept gifts, to eat on the desk, to make personal calls, all right. We must, Esta, este es un verbo modal, very important. This is a modal verb and it expresses obligations, rules, right? We must, there is no option. You have to do that, okay? Must. So it's very important they used this model verb here, right? And have no other guys, have no other. Did you send it? Okay, we'll stop sharing because they see we have only four minutes to 10, okay? Please send your comment. Please send your paragraph. It's good for you to do it, all right? To practice. Okay, guys, so en estos cuatro minutos solo quiero que lleguemos por acá. En el manual tenemos por ahí, en las páginas que no finalizamos ayer y que dijimos que las íbamos a ver el día de hoy. Por acá tenemos esta lista, ¿ok? Acá tenemos los imperatives, como les estaba diciendo yo, ¿ok? Wear a helmet all the time. This is to give instructions and they are safety instructions. And, oh, um, well, in some companies, uh, they have this kind of safety, safety rules, but there are general safety rules also. So for example, walk between the yellow lines, don't touch any machine, wear the airplugs all the time, we are industrial boots, uh, don't get close to the red areas or to red areas. Pero lo que me estaban diciendo acá es explain to them the set of basic rules and safety instructions for visitors in a courteous way. Imagine, Aprendimos a decir, you should, ¿verdad? 
que es una forma, una manera formal de decirle a alguien, debes hacer esto as a manner of suggestion, como una manera de sugerencia, ¿ok? Or a piece of advice, como un consejo o advertencia, ¿ok? So we could say also, you should wear a helmet all the time, all right? You should wear a helmet all the time. This is an instruction and it is a safety instruction. You may start by saying you should, right? You should walk between the yellow lines. What happened if you don't? What happened if you don't? Uh-huh. It may cause an incident, right? It may cause an accident if you don't do it. So that is why we say this in a very courteous way, saying just please, all right? We could say, please, we are helmet. Please walk between the yellow lines, okay? Don't touch any machines. Don't touch any machines, right? It may be harmful, right? We are the earplugs, so imperatives, imperatives. Vamos a tratar entonces de hacer ese listado, ¿verdad? Lo hacen ustedes. Y luego teníamos las últimas que son instructions in an emergency situation. A ver, ¿se lo aprendieron? Did you memorize them? Mm -hmm. Yo veo que todos, todos se los ya de memoria. Ajá, bueno. Ok, sigue quedando de tarea. Lo vemos mañana, ok. Y todos, shoo. Thank you, teacher. Ajá, I got you guys. Bien, vamos a hablar un poquito acerca de eso mañana. Por ahí les envié un video el día de hoy. Ok, eh, pueden irse a la cama y ver video. El que les mandé, no vayan a ver otros videos, ¿verdad? <risa> Para que ustedes cuando estén durmiendo su cerebro, miren, ya lo procesé. Y en la mañana ustedes van a estar nítidos con el inglés, ¿ok? Así que son safety instructions. So please get ready, guys. I'm going to call the roll. You call the system, teacher. Yes, right now. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio del CID. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Ok, Hazel. Present, present teacher. Ok, Henry. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Esau García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Y present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Ok, class. Uh, the session one on one for tonight is. For number nine, I have Henry Alberto, but he stayed, right? Uh, el que sigue en la lista es Hernán Antonio. Hernán, do you want to stay? Do you want to stay? Hernán? He got disconnected. All right. Who wants to stay, guys? Es que el que sigue es el que se nos retiró. El que corrió primero, Javier Antonio Cortés Martínez. So, next one is Juan Francisco. He's a listener. All right. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. 
is the number 13. So do you want to stay with me, Karen? I can't teach. <laughs> Uh -huh. I fall asleep. <laughs> All right. All right. It's not, it is not allowed, okay, to sleep in English class. Very good. A ver, bueno, es que ustedes, hombre, todos se me pelean y yo no hay cómo ubicarlos en la agenda para poder atenderlos a todos. ¿Alguien se quiere quedar? ¿Alguien se quiere quedar a la una? ¿Alguien se quiere quedar a las dos? Y digo la última y todo así que diga, que diga, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. All right, no problem. See you tomorrow, guys. All right. Do your homework. Do your homework and bye-bye. Have a very good night. Good night, everyone. 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 Good night guys. See you tomorrow. See you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Nadie quiso, teacher. Nadie quiso. ¿Usted quería preguntar algo, Magdiel? Pues, no exactamente, pero sí. Sí se puede. Claro que sí. Bueno, claro que sí, ya. hay oportunidad. Tell me, how can I assist you here? Um, de lo que hemos estado viendo ahora, podemos practicar. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are there any rules in your company? Yes, there are there are many rules. Mm -hmm. For example, um, it's it's not allowed to, to stay without a uniform. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you you have to use it, right? In this case, usamos ese verbo que el verbo modal que usaron, eh, Henry. We must. must. We must, uh-huh, we must. ¿Cómo sería entonces? We must wear our uniform. Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, is not allowed to sleep. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Four hours. Um, it must, must. It's not allowed um, to use the cell phone. All right. Uh -huh. but, but, but ex excessive, excessive use. Okay. Uh -huh. No uh -huh. problem when, when I. Um, short, when I short calls. For the moment. Uh -huh. Okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not allowed um, arrive, to arrive late. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. So uh, the, you can say this: coming late. It is. Um. Sorry. Coming late is not allowed. Right. Uh, coming, coming late yeah. is not allowed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. And this is also used for those prohibitions and religion. Right. For example, if someone is a Christian, they have some rules to follow. Those are the commandments, right? The commandments, como los mandamientos, they use mm. these too, right? Because if, uh, or for example, they are for an, from a different religion, they can use these too, all right? You can say yeah. it's not allowed to sin, it's not allowed to lie, it's not allowed to kill, right? Uh, so, yes, you can use this. Mm -hmm. Como diríamos, teacher, algo que está bien de moda es no es not allowed um, discriminar lo que está de discriminar a, a okay. cualquier persona por su por uh -huh. sus creencias o por su Okay, religión. like discrimination is not allowed. Discrimination is not allowed. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. exactly. Uh, es como la otra up. forma de decir lo mismo. Yes, uh, but in that case, what happened is that we use the action as the subject, all right? We use the action as a subject. So the action becomes it, right? Or mm -hmm. it becomes the action. So we could say, for example, discrimination. Discrimination is not allowed. No, uh, no. Uh -huh. Pero usamos, en ese caso, usamos una coma para separarlo. Or no? No, because it's one on, I mean, it's one only sentence. 
that it is the subject of discrimination is not allowed. Yeah, no, it's the same sentence. You don't need a comma. You don't need a comma. En la primera parte que estuvimos viendo vi que había unas oraciones donde donde sí le puso el it y en otras donde no. Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you want to see them again? Okay, mm -hmm. let's look at them. Let's look at them and you will check the difference. All right. Pero yo le iba a preguntar, pero creo que la entendí por la separación de la oración. All right. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because they are different sentences or expressions or clauses, right? Yes. Son como different uh -huh. clauses uh, and different parts of the whole idea. Uh, they are compound sentences. That is why, that is why we use the comma. For example, the mm -hmm. for security reason, uh -huh. comma. That's a clause, right? Uh -huh. That's a clause. Then comma and the other Close, it is, it is. It is. It is, yeah. It is not uh -huh. allowed to. Correct, correct. In, a, in another case, talking pictures mm -hmm. is, is una, sola, una sola sentence. Yes, correct. And the whole thing, the whole thing is the subject. Okay, taking pictures is the subject. Oh, okay. uh, they are not different each word. I mean, they don't have a different function by themselves. So we use taking pictures taking together, picture. right? Mm -hmm. Porque si yo solo digo taking, taking what, verdad? Uh, puede ser pictures, puede ser videos, puede ser taking a different thing, all right? It can be anything. And if we say taking is not allowed, taking, so, Stealing is not allowed, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that. I mean, it doesn't make sense. So we need this to um, complete the idea. Taking picture is is not allowed. It's mm -hmm. not allowed. Like this one, laser surgery. Laser surgery is one only subject, right? Mm -hmm. Laser surgery. E is it. I. ¿Verdad? Entonces decimos laser surgery is not allowed. Ahí no decimos it is not it is. allowed. Aquí porque este es el it. Por, este porque es ya estamos it. diciendo el, el subject. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like here, we say donations and gifts is they, right? So they are not allowed. Pets ya no sería it porque es plural. Entonces sería they are not allowed, right? So... That's okay. what. Entonces esto ya nos eh, el nombre que es el sujeto, verdad, cambia de it uh, del pronombre a un nombre. Uh -huh. Y si dijéramos solamente pet, no fuera si no fuera en plural sino en singular, dijéramos pet. Ajá. Is. Si si fuera así. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Sí. Pero yo siento que por el uso no tendría mayor significado decir una mascota, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Um, sería pets in general, porque la regla es para todas las mascotas, no only one. Uh, vale, si yo digo dogs, tengo que decir para todos los perros, ¿verdad? O sea, no, no solo el suyo, sino que tiene que ser el de todos, ¿verdad? el de cada uno. Entonces, tengo que decirlo en plural. Okay, si yo hablo de algo así, uh, pero como pets ya sería dogs, cats, parrots, turtles, fish, right? Any, any animal. So that's in general. Y el fresal verb que mencionó el must lo vamos a ver más adelante. O... Ese es un model verb, model como should, como mm -hmm. eh, may y como could y como can. Tiene esas es, está en ese mismo grupo de verbos en los modales oh. y sí, lo vamos a ver un poquito nada más sí, uh -huh. sí lo vamos a ver must, es, uh -huh. Diga. es más es más como lo digo, más, más obligatorio que decir you have to uh, sí sí porque uh, por ejemplo lo que dice una voz de mando usa must usa must Instead of have to. Okay, por ejemplo, nosotros como hijos, la voz de mamá es ley. Okay, it's law. Entonces, 
mom uses must, mm -hmm. all right? Mom uses must. Your pastor uses must. The Bible uses must. Okay, como la authority, right? Like the authority. Mm -hmm. Okay, I yeah. understand. Mm -hmm. Even though there are things that you must do for uh, having a very good result in something else. So you can use must too. No es que solo sea la autoridad, es solo para ejemplificar la, la magnitud de must, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok. All de hecho, right. este, este documento que usted tiene, ¿no lo podría compartir al final del curso o, o usted lo va haciendo conforme? Ajá. Sí, eh, lo que pasa es que yo tengo, eh, de acuerdo a los cursos que he ido dando, voy armando y dependiendo de cómo vamos en el transcurso, digamos, de cada clase, porque a veces podemos cubrirlo todo, a veces no, porque se dan preguntas, otras explicaciones, entonces se, se extiende o se hace más cortito. Entonces, por eso es que lo tengo así y lo preparo para cada clase, pero lo voy armando de mi material, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, pero, pero uh -huh. eh, no hay ningún problema, usted lo puede ir tomando como screenshot para que, para que lo tenga, ¿verdad? Para que usted lo tenga ahí. Estos son mis slides. Este es mi material que yo preparo. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. Uh, usualmente son también las investigaciones de cada teacher, los slides. Uh -huh. Sí, y, sí, eso es verdad. Y el manual, y el manual es el, el base, ¿verdad? Para cualquier consulta que usted tiene, váyase a la parte de la gramática, porque está dividido para que usted pueda ver la gramática. Por ejemplo, pero voy a dejarlo compartir, lo voy a compartir. Por ahí, cada vez que después de la conversación, after the conversation, you are going to find the grammar box. Va a encontrar el cuadro de la gramática, siempre de cómo se usa, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, a ver, tenemos casi en todas, usted va a encontrar esto. Mire, page 25 is a conversation, right? This is the using context. I mean, the word or the vocabulary in context, all right? And then, They explain and give examples uh, with the phrase or the structure we are studying, right? And this part, it's usually number four, it's usually the grammar structure, all right? This is the grammar structure. Entonces, cualquier cosa, usted siempre vaya a este concepto que aparece acá. Mm -hmm. Este concepto, concepto <clears throat> que aparece ahí. Esa es toda la explicación de cómo lo va a utilizar y esto ya lo puede aplicar en otros campos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Okay. Teacher, una pregunta fuera de eso. Yes. Facilities, uh -huh. eh, ¿se puede traducir también como mantenimiento, el área de mantenimiento? Eh, ese sería facility management. Facility uh -huh. management. Ajá. O eh, es que ese tiene un, una cuestión ya más técnica de, no sé si es ingeniería en todo caso, industrial, uh, que dice, um, tiene los dos términos, tiene facility management y tiene facilities management, y lo divide en qué actividades le corresponden a lo que se llama facility management y lo que le corresponde a facilities management. Mm. Entonces, por ejemplo, que facility management es como... Eh, cleaning and uh, maybe a window is broken, so you have to replace it, like maintenance, right? Mm -hmm. Pero está el otro que es facilities management, eh, redecoration or uh, reorder the things, right? Maybe the entrance is not correct this way, so I'm going to move it to another way. So. Uh, Bigger changes, right? Bigger changes, changes and matters, right? Mm -hmm. okay. And matters. Yo le pregunto porque el área donde yo trabajo, mm -hmm. así se llama, facilities. All right. Mm -hmm. Y le ponen abajo mantenimiento. Ah, okay, okay. Ajá, because it's in charge of the thing as I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. Y lo dividen porque ustedes son mantenimiento, pero ¿de qué área? Industrial? o de las máquinas, o mm. porque hay otro mantenimiento, ¿verdad? 
Uh -huh. Quizás ahí se refiere a todo, porque dentro de eso están varias áreas, como dice usted, industrial, automotriz. Uh -huh. por, ahí hay un, por ahí hay un documento, eh, creo que por aquí lo tengo, le voy a pasar el link. Uh, espérenme, lo estaba, y no hace mucho estaba leyendo yo algo acerca de, de Facility Management. Para que le, le dé la, pero sí tiene, tiene que, aquí está, Facility Management. Tiene que ver, tiene que ver con la generalidad, ok, con la generalidad del de mantenimiento. Porque está Maintenance también, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Está Maintenance. Uh -huh. Pero Maintenance es como eh, el cleaning, ¿verdad? Pero también Maintenance se refiere a arreglar las máquinas, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, es lo mismo acá, con facility, es como englobing, right? It's the globe, right? It's the globe. Por acá lo tengo, permítame que. <clears throat> facility management. Ok, yo creo que sí. Here we've got the difference. Ahorita se lo pasa. Sí. Ahí estuve leyendo precisamente la, su pregunta. Ahí está bien detallado y usted que está en esa área lo va a comprender muchísimo mejor. Right? Uh -huh. Y le va a expandir el vocabulario también de su área. ¿Sí? Por ahí está. Tómese ese y vaya poco a poco leyendo parte por parte. ¿verdad? No, lo, no lo traduzca, sino que um, trate de irlo leyendo en voz alta para que lo vaya comprendiendo. Pruebe si usted solito, vea Magdiel. Sí. Si ya hay cosas técnicas que no comprenda, entonces le puede dar translate page, ¿verdad? Eh, con el clic derecho. Uh -huh. Le puede dar que le traduzca la página para que pueda ver más o menos cómo se usa en español, pero luego vuelva a cambiarlo a inglés para seguir leyendo, ¿verdad? Ajá, okay. ya no se va a quedar en español. Ok. Ok, está bien. I have it so be helpful. All right. Okay, then, Magdiel, thank you very much for staying with me. Oh, uh -huh. Okay, then, see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, teacher. Have a very thank good you. night. Have a Bye. good night.